hey what's up peeps so i don't know if you can see that or not but uh i have a crap ton of boxes that are jammed from the back doors to the ceiling that basically butts up right against my bed so luckily i didn't lose my bed um which would have been a piss off because <clears throat> I have a bad back and sleeping across my bench seats just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> I'm in more pain when I wake up, um, unfortunately. Oh, that guy looked happy. Driving by with the, with the glare. Anyways, um, so, uh, load I... I'll just do my weekly recap. How about that? I'm going to do a weekly recap. After I did some sacrificing. It's sacrifices in this job. Sacrifice home time. Sacrifice your social life. Sacrifice sleep. A lot of sacrifices. Um, so basically what I did this week. Uh, Tuesday... Did a load from Windsor, Ontario to, uh, I think it was Rittman, Ohio. And then Wednesday, I did a pickup. Roseville, Michigan to London, Ontario. Uh, first one was, the Rittman was 182 miles. I believe that one paid a dollar, I think it was a dollar forty. I'll pop the numbers on the screen so I'm accurate. <clears throat> um, Roseville, Michigan to London was 122 miles. I believe that one paid really well too. Chatham, Ontario, which was the, what was that? The Thursday, Thursday morning. Yeah, it was a Thursday morning pickup. I went to Canton, Massachusetts. Canton, Massachusetts, which is right by Boston, suburb of Boston. So I dropped that off. And then now I'm on the boat that I'm on now. That one paid $1.64 a mile. Uh, the one that I'm on now picked up in Boston and goes to Montreal, Quebec. So I'm in Montreal, Quebec. I have to drop off by like 10, 11 o'clock. And uh, <clears throat> this one paid, well, look at it this way. This one didn't pay the best. Paid a dollar, dollar six a mile when you're used to a dollar, dollar 30, dollar 40, dollar 50, uh, dollar 25, and then you get hit with a dollar six. You're like, uh, it's like when you're consistently getting 90 cents and they say, oh look, we got this load for 75, and you're like, that's not good. <laughs> as an example, as an example. But, but, here's the but. Paid from Boston to Montreal, and it also pays me a dollar six all miles all the way back home. So that part's pretty good, because they could have said, nah, we're just gonna pay you to, you know, um, Toronto or something like that um, so that's not bad that that's pretty good to say they did that um, people keep eyeballing me they're like what pass ah we're from Ontario ah ah here here's my little mandolin and they give me the finger <clears throat> hey <laughs> For whatever reason, uh, people in some people in Quebec, not all of them, don't like uh, Canadian, well, Ontarians, and uh, people from the states. They refuse to speak English to you, even though they can. But as soon as they they cross that invisible line into Ontario or or the states, they uh, magically uh. uh a switch flips in their brain and they go oh hello how are you 
But I'm I'm kidding, by the way. If anybody is watching this from Quebec, I'm just joking, man. Don't don't sort me out in Montreal and feed me to the uh, fishies. Don't don't tell the uh, who's the guy up here. Don't get the Rizzuto crime family after me, man. Don't. It's not. It's not cool. Anyways, um, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish my Tim Hortons coffee. I haven't done a shout out to them. Finish my Timmy's, and uh, I'll go do this delivery, and then I'm gonna head home. So basically, that's what I did all week. I'll put the numbers on the screen and everything for you once I get a chance to edit this. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.